Hey there, I'm Meg, and if you've been wanting to have your Facebook reviews linked to your Google business profile, I'm going to share a few tips on how to make that happen. So how that works is there is an algorithm that connects your Facebook page with your Google business profile. So there is no way for you to automatically make that connection happen, but what you can do is help the Google Facebook bots connect your profiles by making sure the information on the back end is the same. So I'm going to show you where to update your information on both Google and Facebook. In the tutorial, I did forget to mention that you absolutely have to make sure that your business name is the same on both. That is number one. So if I'm listed as Miss Megabug, I want to be listed as Miss Megabug on both platforms. I don't want to be Miss Megabug on Facebook and Miss Megabug LLC on Google. You want to make sure those are the same. And you want to make sure the information that you do add mirrors each other as close as possible. Some things like categories aren't an exact match, but you just have to do your best and make sure that everything is the same as much as possible. Before we dive in, I just wanted to show you what that link looks like. So all I did is I Googled my business and my listing came up and scrolling down to reviews, this is where you can see my Facebook reviews. Now, if you have TripAdvisor or Yelp, those reviews may also connect. I haven't experimented with that since I don't use those review platforms, but you can see reviews from the web and Google has pulled my Facebook reviews. You can also see my Google reviews down here. So now we are going to head over to our Google business profile and Facebook page. So click, um, sorry, enter business.google.com and click on your business name. If your business name does not show up, make sure you are logged into the correct Gmail slash Google account by hovering over your profile picture. It will tell you which one you're logged in as. You can switch user to a different one. And once you see your business, you will click on that. And from here, we're going to click on the info tab. And now we're gonna to head to our Facebook page and we're going to click on the about tab. And I'm just gonna click this to hide the menu, give us a little bit more room. So the information that you want to update to make sure is identical or mirrors as close as possible is your category, your service area if you have it, all of your contact information, your website especially, make sure your website's there. If you have an address, like a customer facing address, absolutely make sure that that's there as well. And the second, well I guess, not second, there are a few things up here. The last thing you wanna do is make sure that your hours are identical. So where you see all of this information on Google is here in the info tab. This is your category, your address, your service areas, this is where you would add your hours, your phone number, your website, and I don't think Google has email. It might depend on your category, but if there is an email section, make sure that's there. So this about description, whoops, don't want to edit that. In the past, there was an about description on Facebook, but it seems to have disappeared. If you happen to still have your about description, make sure that it is the same. Sometimes on Facebook, though, it has to be shorter. So try to make sure if that happens that you at least have the, the gist of it. And that is it. That is how you help the algorithm and the bots connect your Facebook reviews to your Google business profile. I hope it helped. I have several other tutorials regarding Facebook and Google reviews that I will link to down below. And if you're interested in learning even more tips and tricks on how to market and grow your business, check out my Marketing 101 online course. I've also linked to that down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.